everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares and today you join me for another speed build. Today we're going to be working on this beach area. This is literally my last area to do and then my island is pretty much complete. Just need to do a little bit of tidying up here and there and then I'll be ready to show you guys the final product so that's super exciting. So I this beach area is kind of in between Pearl's house and my dock and my plan is to do a really rustic looking beach restaurant. Lots of woods, lots of brick tiles as normally. I'm going to use the wedding furniture as well. So that hopefully it should turn out really cute. So time to get our hard hat on. Here we go. And first things first, I'm going to put a custom design path down. So I'm going to go with this rustic looking brick path which I love and I'm just starting over here in the corner which is where kind of the entrance is going to be. I'm going to have a little hostess area for where I think they're called hostesses where people greet you and put you on your seat and so that will be that and then it's going to kind of flow down into the main restaurant area. So just setting out where I kind of want the bricks to be. I could have gone with the dirt but I feel like the brick makes it look more like a restaurant. So here we go and just filling out the outline and I'll come back to you in a moment. So guys what I wanted to do here was put down some simple panels. This was to kind of create a backdrop and kind of cut up the area a bit and what I wanted to do was put down the piano here. I feel like posh fancy restaurants you're going to have someone playing the piano so that's what I wanted to do and I went for it in quite a dark wood colour. Yes I put a barrel down. <laughs> sorry and then I'm going to use the podium for the hostess area we'll put a typewriter on top of that and make it look a bit more like a um like somewhere where someone would work as they greet you we've used the menu board in that kind of wood color as well just trying to find the typewriter oh there it is and down it goes so I had to kind of break that up because of how many items I had on the beach area. As I said, I'm running out of space, so this was kind of my best way I could do it. And I decided to add some log stakes to break up the sea to the actual restaurant area. And that also helps with the rustic kind of vibes that I'm trying to achieve. So now that I've got a bit more space, time to put a bit more path down. As you can see, I'm kind of going right up to the water's edge with this because I want as much space as possible to get my tables and chairs in. It is quite a large beach area, which is good. Um, you might be able to create a mini kind of version of this if you have a smaller beach area. We all know how different beaches can be, so just utilise what space you've got if you plan on creating a similar sort of build. And 
and then I love to use the serving carts especially in restaurants I feel that they fit really well so I just put one over by the podium and here are some more log steaks I also wanted to use street lamps to kind of light up the area I know you typically wouldn't find them in a restaurant but I love the kind of look of them and I feel like they're quite fancy looking. So to do that I put the lace tile underneath and then the street lamp on top just to give it a little bit more detail. And then time to put our tables in place. I've gone for the wedding tables in this beautiful white and gold selection and I've got some wedding chairs to go with them. I'm not sure I have enough but we'll see how it goes and then a serving cart at the side of the table to give the idea that the waiters kind of dishing up some food I initially started putting down the wedding chairs all of the wedding chairs up against the wedding table I mean it looks all right like this and if I had more maybe I would have done it all that way um, but it soon dawned on me that that wasn't going to be possible. Over here, I decided to use another barrel. <laughs> when I do my island tour, I'm definitely going to be counting how many barrels there are as I go around. Because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot. Um, but on top of the barrel, we put the mum's candle set. And I wanted a plant to go next to it. So I went with the yucca. If I've said that right, I think that's how you say it, yucca. And just cleaning up a bit I think um, I realized that I'm gonna need some more sp some more space to get some different chairs tried to put another yucca down to make it kind of flow a bit more but it didn't look quite right behind the street lamp Just decided to work a bit more on the path really want to bring it out because in the end where the trees are now that's where I want my kitchen to be so needed to try and make it flow right round as you can see I wasn't really very happy with where I initially placed the a brick but because of where my dock is and how I've got some planks sticking off I just wanted to make it kind of curve around that because we don't need the full area to be brick. I decided to try and use the wedding welcome board alongside the menu, but I thought that it would be better to put the wedding welcome board right as you come in and then move the menu over here. We ended up moving the serving tray, serving cart even, and the spice rack. What I decided to do here was put down an antique console table and I thought of the idea of putting like a nice cake on top of it to give the idea that it's kind of the dessert area. So I've just been off to grab some different chairs because obviously we didn't have enough wedding ones it was time to mix some up so I've gone for the iron garden chair in the brown colour, some customised wooden stools and a nice cushion to go on top there just to make it a bit more comfortable and then I'm just going to customise a cushion for the piano bench which is by the piano obviously um, just to kind of make it a bit more Tie it in a bit more. Another iron garden chair 
and then I think we've got another wedding chair we can use yeah and a stool as well didn't have enough cushions does anyone else ever feel like they're constantly ordering cushions from the catalog because that's me right here again that cushion's got the same design uh, that stool's got the same design as the one with the cushion on and there's our wedding cake this is a rare occurrence I decided to pick up the barrel and use the mum the turkey day stand to put the mum's candles on here's another one and for that side I decided to go with a customized table lamp I just thought that was really rustic and kind of helps set the tone as well something that I feel like you would see in like a little Italian restaurant or something down with the wooden table and I've put a pitcher on top of that so that we can grab some water for our guests and then I decided to move the serving cart over to this side and we pop down our revolving spice rack I wanted to put the garden wagon down just to break up the area before the kitchen picking up some items so that we can complete the area for our kitchen area so down goes our path again sticking with the rustic brick I think it looks really effective as this sort of kitchen flooring I could have as I said before I could have used the dirt but again it just doesn't really feel like a like a restaurant if you have dirt on the floor does it no one wants to eat a restaurant with dirt on the floor I decided to use a cutout standee as the door to the um, restaurant kitchen so that's what we're trying to do here and get a stool down as well I kind of wanted to use the stool as I thought it would act as like the kitchen pass where they put the dishes on for the waiters and the waitresses to collect and then I'm just having a bit of trouble here with the coconut tree I did want to kind of incorporate them even though they didn't really fit with the kind of style it's not like a, a cheeky type thing but I just like the way that they kind of cover the area a bit but in the end we had to move that one out and just tidy up this area here I tried putting it there, that was definitely wishful thinking <laughs> you know that time when you pick up a tree and you can't even move it because your inventory is full and it makes you get another fruit that's super annoying because <laughs> I don't tend to carry lots of fruit on me but yeah that shouldn't happen but we got ourselves another coconut and just moved this coconut uh, tree over a little bit that meant that I could expand on this area a bit more so that we could get some more kitchen items in which is obviously really important So here's that cut out standy door that I was talking about. I've used it in another build. Super kind of antique looking with a lovely colour wood. And then just looking for some items to put on the path. So we went with the noodles and then just decorating our kitchen area. I wanted to use the brick oven. Couldn't quite figure out where would be the best place for it. And I wanted to use a, where's it gone? <laughs> Why am I struggling to find it? The open frame kitchen, that's what I wanted to use as kind of the sink area. We've got a refrigerator, a mini fridge. Who knew that these could be colored into that beautiful brown color? That's definitely a discovery that I've made and I, I will definitely be using that again. So we just moved our open frame kitchen over to the right just so it fitted a bit better and that allowed us to put our brick oven here. I didn't like the fact that I couldn't move this low table over because I wanted to fit another barrel in so we kind of moved everything over to the left a tiny bit. 
and then that allows us to place the barrel down. Table lamp on top of the barrel just to give some light. And then just placing some kitchen items down. We've got the knife block. And I also went with the turkey day casserole set which is super cute. I decided to switch out the yucca to find one with a brown pot. As you can see it all seemed to be that I had green ones but we found one eventually. And then I wasn't really sure what to do here. So I ran off to get some more items and then when we came back it made it a little bit clearer as to what I was going to do. I did originally before we started this build I had a fish drying rack here and I did really like that. Um, and they do kind of fit so I decided to put the fish drying rack down after I tried this fencing which really didn't work. I think it looks good and kind of fits with the restaurant and then I just placed down some stunted flowers put a fan behind the fish drying rack just to break it up a bit, give it some greenery, which I thought looked cute. I decided to use the fence behind the restaurant area just to break it off from the beach and again, just putting some more flowers down. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, Poppy's decided to join us for the walk through. So over here to the right, we have the entrance with the podium as I spoke about for the hostess. And then we've got a piano area for a musician to play some music and help set that ambiance for a nice romantic meal. We've got two tables with kind of mismatched chairs, which I love. We've gone with the wedding ones, the stool and the iron garden chairs. They're all kind of in a brown colour. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Poppy. I love you. I just always forget to talk to you. And then the log stakes to help break up the beach. And then we have our kitchen over to the left. As you can see, we've used a stool and then loads of kitcheny items. We've got the brick oven, the open frame table, some dishes, just all sorts to help create that feeling. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the speed build, guys, and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Do you want a restaurant on your beach? Would you go to a restaurant on your beach? <laughs> Let me know. And please remember to like and subscribe if you're not already. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.